Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Daft Punk. Um, I thought I would do a video for you guys today um, about this thing called the NPCs. Um, sorry about to take my hands by the way, I'm just in my lunch break been working. Um, let's find a pointer, the pointer would be easier. So today we thought we'd talk about this whole thing about NPCs and why has Twitter banned 1,500 accounts and what are NPCs? So this is an article on the BBC News website. Um, I just happened to come across it but I thought it was a, quite a comprehensive article. don't quite agree with some of the things it's saying but it's interesting nonetheless. So I thought we'd give this a go. So. You may or may not have seen lots of memes and images around Twitter uh, like this. Okay, if you haven't, you need to go and check them out. Some of them are hilarious. So, um, the Trump supporting right has a new favourite meme, and it's been shared far and wide to troll their political opponents. Why do you have to support Trump if you find something funny? doesn't mean you support any particular person. Anyway, let's go on. So Twitter has apparently suspended hundreds of accounts after users on a pro-Trump Reddit forum r slash the Donald coordinated efforts to set up non-playable character profiles mocking liberals on their social networking site. Well, these people may have started it, but they certainly haven't um, been the only people using it because it is hilarious. So, the trolling campaign was born out of the characterization of liberals as automatons, automatons, sorry, incapable of independent thought on areas of Reddit, 4chan, they've missed out, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and most other social media outlets. So in 24 hours, there were more than 30,000 uses of the term NPC on Twitter. And Facebook pages dedicated to the trend have amassed tens of thousands of followers because it's hilarious. So these are the sort of things they're doing. Blank faces, and it's, like, you know, it's a typical breaking orange man racist, orange man bad. Because essentially that's what a lot of media says. So, what is an NPC? It's a video game reference and it means non-playable characters and they're controlled by the game's artificial intelligence rather than the player. As a result they are limited to certain scripted responses and actions. In a 2016 post on 4chan, one anonymous user referred to people who autonomously follow groupthinks and social trends in order to appear convincingly human as NPCs. Pretty correct. Someone who doesn't has independent thought and just follows the masses. If you get in a discussion with them, it's always the same buzzwords and hackneyed arguments, the poster wrote. Pretty much correct. You might go, yeah, um, my mouse is a car. And they'll be like, no, you're racist, you're sexist. Sorry? Because that's all they know. It's like in a video game when you accidentally talk to somebody twice and they give you the exact line word for word once more. It's just a programmed response. And that's what happens. These people get programmed that they can only reply in certain ways. They don't have the ability to form a reasoned argument of their own through their own thinking. All they can do is use things like, oh, you're racist, you're sexist, you're misogynist, etc. So, in recent months, the term has been adopted enthusiastically by right-wing social media users, or just people who find it funny. It's frequently used interchangeably with social justice warrior or SJW, as a catch term for all their political opponents. And there's some you might also like to read there, look at that. So who is this grey guy? He's 
Apparently, someone called Rojack, a.k.a. Phil's Guy, is a simply drawn character already widely used online. The character is often used as a reaction image to represent feelings, such as melancholy, regret, or loneliness, according to Know Your Meme. The modification of Rojack's face to replace his emotive expression with a crudely drawn blank expression. has become one of the most popular visual representations of the meme. As well as Bojack, images of prominent liberals have also been modified, were also modified. Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick, the American football player who refused to stand during the playing of the national anthem to protest against police violence on African Americans drew heavy criticism from President Trump, is among them. Among them, sorry. Other individuals whose images were adopted include Professor Christine Blasey Ford, who accused subsequently confirmed Supreme Court Judge Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault, an allegation he strongly refuted. So these are a lot of the uh, a lot of the things, the profiles on Twitter that have been used to mock liberals, apparently, or just because they thought it was funny. As the term became more widely used, a group of Reddit users on one of the most, uh, what's that word, vociferous pro-Trump corners of the internet hatched a plan. Members of the subreddit r slash the donald which has more than 667,000 subscribers created scores of twitter profiles using grey npc faces when some of the accounts started tweeting false information regarding the upcoming midterm elections twitter took action to suspend a number of accounts so we'll have to free speech okay so who cares well twitter Clearly, since he has suspended profiles, set up to spread them. And many conservatives are upset by that action. Exactly. It's just a bit of fun. Get over yourselves. Plus, what looks like a row over a meme sits in the broader context of ongoing culture wars. Trump supporters complain liberals denigrate them as fascist or Russian bots. I don't support Trump. Yet there are people that may have called me fascist or a Russian bot. Apparently it doesn't exist. This, by the way, was all started by um, Star Wars director Ryan Johnson claiming that all the negativity about the film The Last Jedi was created by Russian bots, not actual fans who didn't like the film. Anyway, we'll save that for another time. The Trump supporting right has proven itself adept at spreading memes online. Again, why do they have to be Trump supporters? Okay. Researchers from the University College London who analysed a huge database of memes discovered the 4chan message board slash poll and subreddit R the Donald were particularly effective. So check them out if you want to. We find that the slash poll subsequently influences the meme ecosystem by posting a large number of memes. While R the Donald is the most efficient community in pushing memes to both fringe and mainstream website communities, the study authors wrote. Okay, that's the end of the article. So, here we go. So, these memes are hilarious. Keep posting them, keep talking about them. Just because you post them, it doesn't mean you're a Trump supporter. It doesn't mean you're a sexist, a misogynist, a racist. It just means you find people who can't construct a reasoned argument of their own and have a reasoned conversation are getting upset by all these things. So, um, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I didn't rant too long. Nearly 10 minutes, wow. Okay, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, this is just a test to see how I get on. Um, this is just my lunch break. 
Um, big shout out to Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Go check out his YouTube channel. Go check out Ivan Ortega. Um, he's also on YouTube. Um, look for Film Fix, Ivan Film Fix. Um, check out That Star Wars Girl on YouTube. She's brilliant. Check out Odin's Movie Blog. He's fantastic. Um, so that's it for me. So from to now, uh, for now, it's goodbye. <laughs>